I've parted you since I was a kid, haven't I? Like yeah, 18, yeah. 18, like 19. I think I'm responsible for getting used. I beat her. Yeah, that was... I peer pressured you to have a Gary. You did, yeah. Did you? <laughs> what, your first Gary? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Boss, like, boss, like. I'm going in five days. I'm never going back there again, mate. Was, <laughs> it, was it over there? <laughs> <laughs> what? You should see the events. Never going back there again, mate. <laughs> I'd say out of ten, there were three of us partying hard. The rest were just bevying, and it was just like a division. And it, when was, got, it was two separate nights out, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, when we got there, there was a lad on the plane who know, and sadly he's passed away now. He lives by me, and he sells Gary's, yeah. and he's on our flight. And he's seen us getting off. He went, can I come to the customs with you? He went, why? And he went, I've got 10,000 guys in my back. And I'm like, lads, I ain't going to jail if you get pulled. He went, no, if I get pulled, you have nothing to do with it. So we sailed through. And then in the taxi on the way to the thing, he went, yeah, just give us money back with tablets. And I was like, lads, <sighs> looked at me, mate, double drop before we even got in the fucking hotel. We were checking in wired like that. Yeah. <laughs> we had a fucking Gary clock. We had alarms on our phone every hour to beef to have a Gary. Oh, mate, it was just... Fucking hell, that is rude. The heaviest three days of my life. I was peer pressuring you, wasn't it? Yeah. I got told I was trying to make you have a Gary. You wouldn't. And then I kicked off on you because you wouldn't go to the shop for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, you me little fucking bitch. Like, so I'll go to the shop. So then I had a Gary. So we had, 